Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to yet another Linux tutorial. In this video, we are going to explore how you can configure or set up passwordless SSH connection to a Linux server. Now, as we all know, SSH, also known as Secure Shell, is a network protocol that allows users to securely connect to remote devices over a network. It provides strong encryption methods and is therefore widely used by system and network administrators to manage devices such as servers, routers, and switches. Now, SSH offers two authentication methods. There's a the password-based authentication where users provide their remote user's password in order to authenticate. And we have the public SSH key pair that makes use of SSH keys to connect or authenticate with the remote device. And this is what we are going to, to focus on in this guide. And the public key pair authentication is mostly preferred because it offers better protection as opposed to password-based authentication, which is prone to brute force attacks. Now with that brief introduction, let's get started. And the first step is I'm going to check if the SSH service is up and running. And to do so, I'm going to run the command sudo systemctl status ssh as such. Now from the output, you can see that the SSH service is active and running, all right? Now, the next step is to generate the SSH key pair. Now the SSH key pair comprises the public key and the private key. So to generate the key pair, run the command ssh hyphen keygen like this. Now what this command does is that it generates a 2048-bit key pair, which is considered strong enough for authentication and encryption. However, you can generate a much stronger key by passing the hyphen B option like that and specifying a stronger key pair such as 1496. So this will generate a 1496-bit RSA key pair, which is considered stronger than the default 2048-bit key pair. Okay, but for now, I'm simply going to generate the 2048-bit RSA key. So I'll press enter. So as you can see, it's generating public private key RSA key pair. So here we are being asked to provide the file in which the key will be saved. So by default, this will be saved in the .ssh directory. Now this is a hidden directory in our home folder. So to accept the defaults, I'll press enter. Now here we are being asked for the passphrase, but since our mission is to generate or rather to create or set or, or just set up a passwordless SSH connection, I'm going to leave this blank. So I'll press enter. Then I'll press enter again. Now the SSH key pair is generated as you can see from the output. And to confirm this, I'm going to run the command ls hyphen al. Okay, the hyphen a flag is for displaying the hidden directories. Okay, dot SSH. Right, so here you can see we have the two SSH key pair or rather the two SSH keys, we have the IDRSA. Now this is a private key pair and it should reside on the local system, okay? So this should never be shared or divulge to anyone because this can potentially cause a breach, okay, to your remote system. Now this is the public key which we are going to save on the remote system, okay? So these are our two SSH keys. So we have the private key and the public key. Okay. Now the next step, as I've just mentioned, is to save the public key to the remote system. Okay. And to do so, I'm going to use the command SSH copy ID 
like that, okay? Then I'm going to provide the remote user. So I have a user configured called Jack at the remote address, which is 170 dot 187.200.234 okay so this is the remote user called jack and this is the remote ip address okay of my remote system then i'm going to press enter now since i'm connecting to my device for the very first time from this local system i'm going to get this uh, information here so to continue connecting just press yes as such okay so it's attempting to copy the the public key so here you'll be prompted for the remote user's password and I'm going to provide it as such Great, so here you can see that one key has been added, all right? And uh, now the output tells us that we can try logging into the machine using the command ssh jack at the remote IP. Okay, now before we log in, um, let me make a, uh, a few points out. Now, already after we've made the connection, this creates a file known as the known hosts in the SSH directory. So I'm going to run the ls command again. Okay, so here you can see that we have the known hosts file. Now the known hosts file is a file that contains the SSH fingerprint of the remote host that we've just connected to, okay? So in order to view this file, you can simply run the cat command as such. So cat non hosts. Okay. Now this is the SSH fingerprint. Okay. Of the remote device that you've just connected to. All right. Now, to connect remotely, or rather, to connect now to the remote device, I'm going to run the command ssh jack at now the remote address, which is 170.187.200.234. Then I'll press enter. And now you can see that I've, su I've successfully managed to log into the remote device, which is uh, a Debian server, as you can see here. All right. Now, as you can see, we have not been prompted for any password because we copied the public SSH key to this device. Now, the public SSH key is located on a file known as authorized file in the remote device. So here I'm going to check if the file exists. So I'll run the command ls al in the SSH directory. So here you see we have the authorized keys. Now this is the this is the public key okay that has been saved in this file and uh, we can check it out by running the command cut ssh authorized key now this is the public this is the public ssh key that we generated on our local system and we have saved it here so as you can see at the very bottom this is the host name of the local system that we use to generate the ssh keys all right and uh, you can just confirm this by now exiting the system. So we're going to exit the remote system, okay? Now we are back to the local system. So 
I'm going to confirm whether this key is the same as the public key that we generated. So I'll run the command cut. SSH. ID. RSA. Dot pub. Now this is the public key. And as you can see, this public key here is the same as this key or this fingerprint that is saved on the remote system in the authorized keys file, all right? So now we have successfully configured passwordless SSH connection to the remote server. However, a user can still connect using a password, all right? So at this moment, there are two authentication methods that are active. So there is the SSH key pair authentication and the password based authentication. Now, as we previously mentioned, the password authentication is prone to brute force attacks and as such, we need to disable it. So I'm going to log in yet again to my remote system. So I run the command SSH jack at 170.187.0.0. Dot two thirty four. Okay, I'm in now in the remote system. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is to disable password authentication. All right, so that now we can only connect using the SSH key pair. So to do so, I'm going to make changes to the main SSH configuration file. So I'm going to run the command sudo vim. So I'm, I'll be using the vim text editor. So the configuration file is at etsy ssh sshd config like that. Okay. I'll provide the password for Jack. So here we are at the main configuration file. Now I'm going to search for the password authentication parameter. So here at the bottom, I'll press a colon like that. Then search for password authentication. Oops. So let me just I'll press escape, then search for password like that. So here I am. So search for this directive, password authentication. So by default, this is set to yes. So to disable password authentication, I'll edit this to no as such. Okay. Then I'm going to save this by pressing full colon WQ, then an, uh, an exclamation mark, as you can see. Okay. Now for the changes to come to effect, I'm going to run the command sudo systemctl restart SSH. And there we go. So now, SSH, the only way we can connect to the remote device is via the public SSH key pair and no other way, okay? And just to confirm this, I'm going to use party. So I'm going to launch party, okay? So I'm going to try to connect to my remote system via SSH, okay? So I'll provide the host name and the IP. So this is Jack at 170.187.200.234. Okay, I'll press open. Okay, so here you can see that no supported authentication methods available okay 
So the reason for this is because we do not have the SSH key pair, all right, on this system, okay? So we cannot log in via a public, or rather we cannot log in via a password-based authentication, okay? So this confirms that the only way we can connect to our system is via the SSH key pair, all right? And there you have it. In this video, we have successfully managed to configure passwordless SSH connection to a Linux server. And we have gone an extra step and disabled password, password authentication to avert chances of brute force attack. Now, this, come, this draws the curtains to this video and if you like this video, if you found this video insightful, please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos like this, alright? Otherwise, see you in the next video.